All right, so we got Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster versus Original Graphics Comparison. Let's get to the let's go, man. Let's go. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Look at this man, bro. This is what I listen. Despite being rebuilt with the RE engine, the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster isn't a full remake and sits somewhere between its namesake and a full rebuild. The structure and bones of the original are still intact, but Capcom hasn't shied away from making a few quality of life visual improvements here and there. Let's see what's changed. The, the visual improvements, I will admit, is better. The visual sense, it, it does look good. Much I will like admit the that. transformation between 1998's Resident Evil 2 and its ground up remake, the walking undead in this remaster have seen a significant glow up. Compared to the original, these hordes of the undead are now every bit as detailed as Capcom's finest work with the Resi series. With yeah. a disgusting amount of fleshy detail on show. From chunks of flesh left over from a zombie's recent meal to a juicy yet horrid looking bit of torn sinew. No disgusting detail. Yeah, it looks crazy. I'll admit that it does look really good. Quality holds up even when facing hundreds of them. But what about the Willamette Park View Mall? The key location in which this entire Dawn of the Dead esque nightmare is set in. Well, if it wasn't man, obvious look at our game, man. so far, this too has seen a major graphical overhaul. Previously, while detailed for the time, Willamette didn't exactly feel lived in. Props to the former cleaning staff, though, they really left the place with some shine and polish. However, with a population of just over 50,000, you would imagine some wear and tear in the town's only source of entertainment is only natural. Beyond the blood and guts, you'll now be able to spot details in the smaller things when venturing across the deluxe remaster, such as floors stained with dirt, scuff marks, litter strewn across the environment, whether that be crumpled up trash. I didn't even notice that. I, I, listen, in this video, I usually don't pause, but in this video, we might pause whatever because, like, you know, the IGN, uh, commentator he's actually talking a lot so if i actually want to say something i'm gonna pause it a little bit I, again i don't really pause like that so this is a rarity enjoy it if you really want to action paradise plaza or menus left behind on the floor while in the food court and more all of these finer details lend the parkview mall a sense of believability as a place once used by it does look better i'll admit today. that it really does unfortunately capcom seems to have taken a page out of hbo's playbook on lighting as both dusk and night pose a serious vision challenge that Game of Thrones would be proud of. Overly intense darkness means visibility is at an all-time low in some locations, which, yeah. while more realistic, is hampered by there being no way to counter it. The flashlight as an item unfortunately doesn't exist in the original Dead Rising, nor this remaster. This means you might be left bumping into a few more nasties than usual while in the dark. Other times, however, like during this cutscene, even Sam Fisher would have a hard time adjusting his eyes to see what's going on. David! I trust those damn zombies about as far as I can throw them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot! Look, let, let's talk to You can talk to my 12 gauge! Can someone just please turn on the lights? He said you can talk to my 12 gauge. Give me that. Bit his neck like a gusher. Why, he, bro? Why, he, whoa, whoa, why he got the venom tongue? Why, why he got the venom tongue going on? Aspiring photojournalists can breathe a sigh of relief, though. Frank West has bumped up his photography. Uh oh, game. Frank A. Bye bye. Master is the inclusion of camera parts such as the flash, which, as the name suggests, it's a flashlight. Yeah. Oh, nice pictures. Use a flash attachments on your camera while snapping some pics of the brand. Oh, new he's drift out. Look at him. Those are just a few of the changes. That That's not a perfect picture. That so picture's far. And we've booty. Not even mentioned yet that the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster has completely changed its cast of voice actors. Terence J. Rotolo, the original voice of Frank West, has not returned for this remaster. So really? It's a direct comparison between the old and new actors. Okay, wait. Mm. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? Funnily enough, Otis Washington, the mall's most decorated janitor and persistent radio caller in the original game, has finally been given a voice after all this time. Yeah. Hey, it's Otis back at the security room. Can you hear me, Frank? Hmm. And the same goes for many other NPCs. They'll often shout bits and pieces of panicked nonsense whilst you're trying to save them. <laughs> if you've made it this far, feel free to sit back, grab a baseball bat, ooh, and ooh, enjoy ooh. some more direct comparisons between the original and oh, wait. The remaster. Oh wait, hold up. Do I need to 
Are they going to split screen or what? Oh, yeah, this looks, yeah, this looks really nice. Like the old, here's, oh, whoa, okay, wait, wait. Ugh. Should I, should I switch, should I put the face cam in the middle, y'all? Uh, ma'am, start the car. Okay, well then why don't you leave out the other... Leave out the other way. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> now, what makes you think you were going to spam the same move three times? Huh? What makes you think you thought she was about to? You thought she was about to use that same car door shrug three times in a row. You thought that was gonna work again? No, it's not gonna work again. As a matter, bro, bro, the zombie said, "Get over here, bro." He grabbed the door, bro. It's not gonna work three times, bro. Why didn't you just grab the girl and just leave out the other door? You know that, bro. That broken car is not gonna start. The engine's dead. The batteries, bro, just bro, skadooshed. Bro, everything about that car is totaled, bro. You, bro, you got your, bro, bro. You took that car, bro, bro. You didn't snap and took that car from the junkyard, bro. You know that, bro. You knew that car, bro. You knew, bro. <laughs> you knew you were supposed to take that car to the shop the other day, but you did and you ignored it. Now look at you, you're about to get eaten. <laughs> Uh oh. Give me the green light. I'm ready to go right now. I'm ready to go right now. Say, buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that, they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, hey, you can actually see his eyes through the glasses now. Why you laugh like that? <laughs> and why Frank walking around like that? Frank, you good? Frank, like he's he's off some type of drugs or something. Frank, you good? Frankie. Oh, y'all hear the music? Oh, that music is different. Frank, you're, Frank, you're horrible. Frank, l listen, whoever's controlling this person, who who's ever controlling this, bro, y'all don't got the moves like us. Like the OG Xbox 360 players, y'all don't got the moves like us at all. Oh. But naked. I'm on a bathroom flow. I can't I was. Do you guys remember like you could like pick up like TVs and stuff? Man, that was a bet that was a really like just fun time. That man that he got the Mac 10. Man, they are trying to light us up. Your, uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? <laughs> Damn it! Bro, throw like a bro. He's just spamming it right now. Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. True. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. 
I mean, you, right. you have to. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. He kind of, you know, in, in, in the older version, he kind, of, he kind of looks like Michael Jordan a little bit. Three. I've got to cover. Look for an opening. Okay. Why would you scream that out? Hey, bro, I got your cover. Make sure you guys, make sure you run around the back and get him. Good job, reporter, man. Ah. Keep it up. Ooh. Bro, get behind the wall. Get behind the wall. Brother, you are getting lit up. Get behind the wall. Are you serious? I wonder how many, how many, um, I wonder like with that type of card, how many, um, zombies like in like the real world, how many zombies would like mess up like your transmission? Let me see this. I should have put my face cam in the middle, but I didn't. Is that the clown? Wait, was that the clown? Oh, it was. Oh, see, and this, this man's a school bully, bro. Look at him. Oh, look at his face. This man's a menace. Frank, shoot it. Frank, oh yeah, Frank, you gotta shoot it. Frank, shoot it. Frank, <laughs> Frank, you gotta go. Frank, just jump. Frank. Yeah, Frank, Frank, go. Frank, Frank, go. Frank, go. Gramps? This man's an actual... This man's an actual school threat, like... <laughs> Look at this menace. Kill it. Kill it. Bro, this clown was actually really scary. I can't lie to you, bro. Bro, this menace was blowing fire. Like, look at him. Yeah, slice him. Yeah, slice him. Oh, my God. Why is he that quick, bro? Look at, bro. Listen, I don't, bro. I, I don't want to, like, you know, For bro. more from the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, make sure to check out the latest. Shout out to IGN, and man. Everything else on Dead <clears throat> and more, you're already in the right place with IGN. Shout out to IGN. Oh, that, look at that. He's running on the treadmill. That's nice. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Am I muted? Okay, I'm not muted. Okay, cool. Because sometimes, bro, I got to check if I'm muted or not. Sometimes I will go on a whole tangent. And then I'll, I'll look at the recording and I'm just muted out of anywhere. So, um, bro, that clown was definitely scary. And I'm going to be honest with you. They did a really good job on a clown in, like, the uh, in like the newer version because uh, he has, like, some type of, like, you know, uh, attitude, I guess. Uh, he's looking, he, bro, that clown is still scary, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Like, it, bro, obviously this game wasn't scary or whatever, bro. But this is why I couldn't do scary games, y'all. Like, I... I couldn't handle it, bro. Like, scary games back then, bro. Especially as a kid, bro. You don't ever want to, like... Like, no. I didn't want to do scary games, scary movies, whatever. And, bro, clowns? Ooh, man. Clowns were a big no-no. I'm going to just keep it honest with you, man. But, I mean, comment down below, man. If you guys saw any differences. Obviously, there's, like, a big graphic di like difference or whatever. But any differences that you guys noticed, you know, in the game or from, like, the previous game that you guys uh, noticed in this game now... Um, but yeah, they did a really good job on this game, bro. They did a really good job on it. Comment down below, man. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, cheers, everything out, and.